you want to be able to transfer files from your phone to your computer with ease? It's simple. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you transfer files from your Android phone to your computer. Being an integral part of our lives, we all store many files on our smartphones, and we store just as many, if not many more, on our computers. And if you're anything like me, you find yourself constantly needing to share files between the two. Fortunately, if you're an Android user, that's a very simple task. You can always revert to the age-old plug-in-your-phone method and share files that way. However, Google recently changed this method. Android now uses a different protocol, and it means that your computer may not immediately see your device as a storage drive. So you'll need to do a couple things to make sure that works first. If you go into the storage settings on your device and tap the action overflow button, you can alter your USB connection type. And you can either choose between media device or camera, which changes how your computer recognizes your device, MTP or PTP. If you're using OS X, however, you will need to download Android file transfer. Once you do, simply plug in your device, make sure it's using MTP and you have a file browser from your phone on your desktop. It's pretty simple and it's probably the quickest way to get a file on your device. However, it is not 2007 anymore and plugging your device in to transfer files is old school. There are many ways to transfer files between your computer and your Android device wirelessly. The first of which is called AirDroid. It's a free application you can get from the Play Store that allows you to transfer files and control your smartphone from your computer within a web browser. Any web browser, any computer, it is hardware and operating system agnostic. Anything that has a full web browser will do. Simply open the application up on your phone and follow the instructions. It will give you a unique IP address that you should enter into the address bar in your computer's web browser, and it will also give you a password so you can log in. This is a secure connection, and as long as you keep that password private and select HTTPS, you should be safe. Once you log in, you can immediately see all the information on your phone. You get real-time stats on your phone, such as battery life and storage, and you can also see what all is on your device, pictures, music, movies. You can access all of this information directly from the web browser. You can also add or delete files from your phone, install new applications, delete applications, take screenshots, and pretty much everything. Of course, there are many applications such as AirDroid. One of the premium options that I've been using for a long time is called Wi-Fi File Explorer. It is basically just a file explorer for your phone in your web browser, such as AirDroid offers, but this one is a little more bare bones and straight to the point. I prefer it for transferring files, as AirDroid is a little more for controlling everything. If I only need to transfer a file, I usually fire up Wi-Fi File Explorer. When you first open Wi-Fi File Explorer, like AirDroid, it will give you a unique IP address. Navigate to that using your computer's web browser. Choose the files that you either want to download or upload and wait. I typically use Wi-Fi File Explorer for large files. If you have your phone charging across the room or the house, you simply start the transfer and forget about it. You don't have to worry about anything, it just runs in the background. And once it completes, you're good to go. A tried and true method that I've been using for much longer than any of the other methods is called Dropbox. It's nothing new, many of you probably already use it or know what it is. Basically, it's a cloud storage service that allows you to store your files remotely and access them from pretty much any device you may own. You can install Dropbox on your computer or any of your mobile devices and sync files between them. It's literally as easy as dragging and dropping a file into the Dropbox folder on your computer or simply choosing a file to upload to Dropbox from your phone. Once the upload finishes, the file is accessible on any of your Dropbox capable devices. The problem with Dropbox, however, is that the transfer is a little slower. The reason Wi-Fi File Explorer is a little faster and better is because it is a direct connection over your local Wi-Fi network. Dropbox sends a file to a remote server and then you have to download it. There are a few steps in the background that slow this process down, but it's great if you need one file on multiple devices. There are, of course, many other ways that you can share files between your Android device and your computer. Feel free to share any methods that you found in the comments below. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on your social networks of choice. You can find us on Google Plus at Plus Pocket Now, Twitter at Pocket Now Tweets, and Facebook at Facebook.com slash Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. I will see you next time.